la 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Punk Chasers. Shout out to the homie Bruno. He chilling. Hey, Bruno. All right. So, about to go train with my little brother. Uh, people that are new to the channel probably have no idea who he is. People that have been following me for a long time. Y'all know my brother. Well, he fell the fuck off. He hasn't worked out in about a little over a year. So, you know, he's been coming to the gym out here from time to time. and trying to get back into the groove. So, you know, I'm more than supportive. So, we're about to go train some chest and tries. Might throw in some traps with it. Depending on how we feel. I don't know why, man, but I just had the... Have y'all ever had the taste of some cocoa or some coffee? I don't know what it is, but today I just woke up and said, you know what? I want some fucking coffee today. So I got me some coffee from my coffee machine. And to give it a cappuccino kind of taste, people that watch the video, you, you know what it is. So I got this low-carb cocoa up in here. Yeah, some of y'all probably like, fuck, low-carb cocoa? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. You should watch the damn video. Shit. Got this four grams of carbs and worth of cocoa in my coffee. So I got a little cappuccino action going on, man. You right, though. Get the clumps out, Get the clumps man. out, man. I know, it's, I, know, I know it's killing your OCD. It's <laughs> <laughs> driving you crazy. Like, you the one got to drink the shit. Okay? That, that, that good for you? I'll make sure it's, it's my shit, but you know. Is that good enough for you for, for me to drink? No, you, look at this. Look at that. That's all right. We go, I can work with that. So all I got right. my cocoa. I got my coffee in here. Ooh, pre-workout. Can't be giving y'all all my secrets, but I'm giving way too many secrets out. Now, I'm not taking pre-OG today, obviously. I already got some caffeine right here. You know, but if you want to buy some pre-OG, fuck with it, man. Fuck with it. I could have easily said, yeah, but take my pre-OG, guys. No, I keep it 100. I don't even take my own shit every day. I take my own shit maybe two or three times a week when I feel like I need an extra fucking boost. Today, I was in a cappuccino coffee kind of mood. You feel me? Can I taste after? Or? I'll make you one. This is all no, on me. I don't want one. I just want to taste. You want a little sip? Yes. You get, you get a, dip, a sip. That's it. Okay, a just sip. a sip. We have a machine. For you and me to make cocoa, not to share. All right. He's stingy, y'all. Yeah. He don't like sharing. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm about to put some branch gains in my water jug. We should have gone to TigerFitness.com and fuck with it, man. Thank everybody for y'all support. I know y'all see me rocking this long sleeve. You know, you probably saw the video of me and Jerron doing legs. Well, here's another one. Okay, these long sleeves will be out in about three weeks. You're gonna love the way they feel. As you see, hugging, hugging the sleeves. Great for working out, keeping the elbows and shit warm. So be looking out for that, man. Got so many great products coming out for you guys. Let me show them the ladies uh, preview. No, just keep it hidden. Keep it hidden? Yeah. Man, I got some great shit for the ladies. And these being me, you don't want me to share, man. Because, I I, you know, I want the right people to put them you, on. You want them to see on Instagram. Exactly. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Palm Chasers. Follow me at Beast Mode Jones. Man, we got so many great things coming. All the support y'all showing us has enabled me to be able to invest more into the brand and give y'all quality shit for a fair price. Well, anyway, I'm about to sip on this shit. Wait for my brother to get here. And we will see y'all, Jim. Y'all stay tuned. Guys, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And this right here is hands down one of the best chest builders you can do. Nothing will pump up your chest or contract your chest better than this equipment right here. Bench press is great, dips are great, and I do those. But I would never train chest without doing this, at least at the beginning or at the end. In my humble opinion, no chest workout is complete without some kind of isolation work. All right, homies and home met. So first and foremost, if you want to try out the routine of the day, I uh, got the whole thing written down for you in the description section below. All right, so ch keep in mind, guys, my brother hasn't been working out for over a year, so we just took it easy on him. You know, I still kept it pretty intense, though. He kept it pretty light. 
All right, now here we are starting off with the pick fly machine. If anybody ever tried any of my programs, you know I'm a huge advocate of either doing pick flies at the start of your uh, chest workout or at the end. You know different motherfuckers gonna give you their opinions, but it's worked for me and several of my clients and I absolutely love it. All right, good way to pump up the chest, full of blood, get that mind-muscle connection. That way when you do exercises like this hammer strength machine right here, you can feel every rep because you're already pumped. You feel me? When I'm already pumped and I do shit like this, every rep I feel it. I feel the muscle squeeze. It really helps with that mind-muscle connection. Now right here on the fourth and final set, I did a triple drop set. Like I told you, it's my brother's first chest workout in over a year. So he didn't do any drop sets. He just kept the weight relatively light and did straight sets for everything, okay? Now we're on the bench pressing right here. We started off with some pyramid sets. Um, um, Brandon didn't do any pyramiding. He just pretty much kept it in one plate for the whole time. I went up about 10 pounds on each side every set. I started off with one plate for about 20 reps. Then I went one plate in a 10 for about another 15 to 20 reps. Then I went a plate and a 25 on each side, which is 185 pounds for about 12 to 15 reps. Then I went to a plate and a 35. Then I went to two bad bitches. And then I did two plates in a 10. And then I finished it off with a heavy set of two plates and a quarter on each side. Now, keep in mind, I'm already exhausted from the peg flies and the hammer strength uh, presses. So, I wasn't hitting any PRs, but that's not my goal. When I come to the gym, my main objective is to get an excellent pump and to destroy my muscle group, you know, in order to recover and grow. And over time, I get stronger you know I'm not the fucking strongest guy on the planet but you know I can front squat four plates now if I was to go into the gym strictly for strength I'd probably be able to squat more than that but I get the volume and let the strength come when it comes you feel me so after we did the um, incline bench press work we decided to go ahead and hit lower pecs now keep in mind my lower pecs is already developed there's no need to do a fuckload of lower pec work. If your lower pecs are overly developed, you will have some motherfucking titties. And that is not aesthetic. That is not bodybuilding. We're going for that V-shaped upper body. So you want those delts and that upper chest to be hidden hard. You want the lower pecs to be nice and tight and muscular. And you want to keep the waist as small as possible. You know, this is bodybuilding. So I train based off what I need. There's no need for me to do a fuck load of lower pec work i just hit the lower pecs hard and i move on to something else on the hammer strength work on the fourth and final set as you saw did a triple drop set this right here is what i'm finishing off with did some cable crossovers supersetted with dips 10 reps each exercise 10 reps of cable crossovers supersetted with 10 reps of body weight dips to really blast those lower pecs and finish off with a great pump then I jumped it off with some upper chest isolation work. My main objective on chest day is to get those upper pecs hitting hard. I want to wear a V-neck and I want those upper pecs just oozing out the motherfucking shirt. Just screaming out the shirt, okay? Now here we are on triceps. No point in having a great chest if you got shitty arms. So we're hitting those tries. We're doing some overhead tricep extension. Notice I'm making sweet love and I'm going all the way up. None of that half ripping shit. The triceps are not involved until you fully extend. So don't short yourself. Be sure to go to pumpchasers.com and get you one of these performance stringers. Nice and breathable, dry fitting material. Fuck with it, fuck with it. Get your 30 minimum. All right, here we go. One of my favorite exercises for the lateral head of the tricep. I decided to go ahead and put this shit in slow motion so you can see the tricep working. You know, at normal speed, it's really hard to appreciate how effective this exercise is. Notice how I come down and I space my hands apart. That what the rope is for. If you're gonna keep your hands together, just get you a straight bar or a V-bar. The purpose of the rope is to space the hands apart 
part at the bottom to get that maximum contraction. Now, obviously, you can't go as heavy with the rope, but it's not about the weight. It's about the detail and the physique. And this is the final exercise, one of my favorites for overall tricep to get that horseshoe look. Reverse grip, uh, tricep press down one arm at a time so you can really focus on each arm. Man, finally home from that awesome workout. About to put a little dinner together. As y'all see, we got leftovers in the refrigerator. Don't really need to be cooking anything, you feel me? So, let me give you a little peek of what I'm having for dinner and we're gonna wrap this video up. I'm hey, cook, honey. I'm cooking dinner. I'm sure what you got over here. And Denise is cooking more. She, she stayed cooking, man. I got some shrimp. I'm trying to make a um healthy shrimp scampi. Oh, shrimp. Sure. See? Y'all want a shrimp scampi video? Comment in the comment section below. Y'all stay tuned. All right, homies and home mess. So it's dinner time. It's time to come home. This, look, I know it look good to the motherfucker, don't it? Check it out. We got some good chicken thighs right here. Some rice full of fucking uh, bell pepper, celery, and mushrooms. And uh, look, all kinds of good flavor. When you eat this, it's gonna be bing, bing, bing. You'll be attacked by flavors. You're gonna know what to fucking do. It's leftovers right here. Denise makes this for me every week. You should already know how to make this. If you have not seen the video, go watch the video I just posted the other day. It's called Cooking with Chris and Denise, the best chicken and rice you will ever have. Go watch the video. And like we just said, you want to see more recipes? Denise is always cooking. We'll be more than happy to share our ancient secrets with you, okay? So anyway, I'm about to eat this dinner. Ship some packages and go to bed. It's getting pretty late. Don't forget long sleeve shirts. We got three colors. You're going to love them. They're hugging the sleeves. They'll be out in about three weeks. Beanies and scullies are already in stock. We got a few colors for men, a few colors for women. Go fuck with those beanies and scullies. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. And you know, I already know. I'm about to throw some ass sriracha hot sauce on this shit, man. Holla back.